I want to share something that I was chatting with a friend about tonight and wanted to share because I don't know that I share this publicly so often. And that is that I have this small voice, just, you know, just like you, just like the clients that I work with, this small voice that doesn't believe that people are going to be into my stuff, doesn't believe people get it, doesn't believe that I'm going to, you know, that I can launch a program and that people are going to sign up for it or that I'm going to do this thing. And, you know, it's like, and so I was chatting about this with a friend tonight and one of the truths about it is that, so all that is, is this like, who do I think I am? Or it's this imposter complex, right? Of like, I mean, it's even like, you know, maybe, sure, maybe I've had some success in the past, but I don't know. It's like your mind wants to make up these stories that you're not going to be successful again or it's not going to work. And the thing is, is that all I'm doing is comparing what I've done. Like, I'm basically not even, even though I've like, thousands of followers here and I, you know, make well over six figures and I have every single year for years and years and years that still there is a part of me that all I'm doing is comparing all that I could have done, right? So from where I sit, I just know what I could do because I'm still a, the little acorn in my on my path of becoming and all I see is all that I can do and all that's possible and sometimes most of the time even though that translates into what I haven't yet done and and how great it could be right or all these things and um you know and the the thing my girlfriend reminded me of is just how you know, all the people that I'm able to support and inspire and the fact that I'm just a little bit further along. And the thing is, is that it's not even about being further along because I also know that I learn from people who are not where I am and vice versa, that I've got people that are way further along than me and they come back and they still receive my support. So it's not even really about like, people being further along or better than. It's like none, none of that, you know? It's just about recognizing that this is about kind of like this potential and this expression and how often we get caught up in perfectionism because we want it to be so great or we're afraid of not being enough. So we get afraid that, um, you know, nobody's going to like it or, you know, all these funny things that we have. And... Then also, she just reminded me of like, that's what keeps you, she said basically like, that's, you know, that's what makes you so real and so authentic. And, you know, I was just commenting that like, the opposite of that would be maybe where I'd be so confident, like I can just do anything and people are going to come and, or I don't know, that not to say, like, I've got a whole heaps of confidence. Like, there's a huge part of me that I know that I can go and lead a workshop. I can do a talk. I could, like, gather people out on the corner, and that would be beneficial. There would be people that would really get a lot of value at it. So, so I know that I have this great worth and value to bring to the world, and that where, where I know that I get tripped up, and I know I've seen my clients that get tripped up, is, like, all that we know it could be, right? And this is where the perfectionism comes into play and our own um, judgments about ourself and, and what it's going to take and our insecurities that it's not going to work. All those pieces. Um, and that ultimately the thing is, is that I have work that is of value and you have work that is of value to people out there. You're a little bit further along or your skills are of that that can support another and they need you and they're looking for your skills and so it's for you to go out there and share those skills and stand in your value of what you have to offer. Not 
limit yourself because you believe that either, you know, this false perception that people might not like it or that it's not good enough or that, um, that, that nobody's going to buy it. Like, you know, it's like, for one, you don't know until you put it out there. And number two, it requires you to first remember, remember your own genius, remember your own innate brilliance that is made up like you are this being that and your entire life has led you to this moment of all your skills and your capacities and your interests and your passions and and your talent and and so yeah it's up to you to go forth and share that awesomeness with the world and to not be holding it back. Like it's the one biggest thing that I hear from all my clients and anyone who's heard me speak is like, and they're so excited for this book I have coming out is that they're just like, they want more of me and there's, and I, I want to share more as well. And so I've been exploring all these different ways of like, how can I share more? How can I, be able to impact more people and support more people. So my book is a really big piece of that, which I'm super excited about. And it's like crazy ridiculous how much it warms my heart when people are <coughs> literally like in tears crying and so grateful that I'm going to be writing a book. And and they're just like, hurry, you know, so many clients. And so, yeah, it's like literally just putting it out there and remembering that there are people who are looking for it and there are people who are waiting for you to share with them. They're looking right now for someone just like you. So go out there, stand in your value, take heart-centered action, double down on your genius, and remember that you thriving financially and otherwise is the greatest gift you can give the world.